In this video, I'm going to use the Landscape Legend Lightroom presets to edit a sunset photo. Landscape Legend includes um, some workflow presets that are stackable that allow you to get just the right look for your photo and do it in a relatively small number of clicks. So I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate that here. Um, the best way to show how they work is just to show them in use with this sample photo. So I'm going to open up the workflow presets. They're broken down into different sections. I'm going to actually skip the first three sections. Um, first section is for black and white adjustments. Second is for white balance. And third is for exposure. I'm actually not going to use any of those presets on this photo. So I'm going to move on to the fourth section, which is the tone adjustments, impacts, highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. I want to lighten the shadows. So I'm going to um, try out some different HDR presets and see which one looks the best. Okay, I think I'm going to stick with this bold HDR tones which will lighten the shadow and um, still give a strong black point. So I'll move on to contrast adjustments and I want to give just a small increase in contrast so I'll click on these different presets. I think I'm going to go with contrast boost low I'll move on to clarity adjustments. Again, I want to give a clarity boost, um, nothing too extreme. So I'll just try the different presets here and see what looks best. I think I'll go with clarity boost small. And vibrance and saturation, I'm going to skip over. So I don't want to make any changes there. I also don't want to make any changes to the tone curve, so I'm going to skip the curves presets. So move on to color adjustments. Color adjustments are really useful for landscapes for things like bringing out the blue in the sky or green in trees or foliage. There's also um, some autumn presets here that will boost oranges and reds, typical autumn colors. With this photo, um, I was taken at sunset and there was a good bit of orange in the sky but it didn't really come out so much in this raw file. So I want to try to boost the orange to see if, um, if it'll make the sky look a little better. So I'm going to try these autumn presets. Even though it's not an autumn photo, it still will be um, increasing the orange saturation a little bit. So I think I'm going to go with the, um, the preset called Autumn Color Soft. I'll move on to the split toning and I'm going to try um, these warming presets. I'm going to go with the warming filter light, which uh, warms the photo up a little bit. Works well since it's a sunset photo. I'll move on to sharpening. I'm just going to apply light sharpening. You're not going to notice a difference in the video. And then um, I'll do a light noise reduction as well. I'm going to skip the grain because I don't want to add any grain to the photo. Move on to the lens corrections. I'm going to click on the lens profile correction. It will remove some of the distortion and the vignette caused by the lens. And I'm also going to click on Remove Chromatic Aberration. I don't think this photo has issues with chromatic aberration, but it doesn't hurt to click that. If there are any issues with chromatic aberration, Lightroom will take care of it. Okay, so that con concludes the work with um, the workflow presets. I'm going to move on to the graduated filter presets, which are really useful for working with the sky, and I want to work with the sunset a little bit. There are several different sunset presets um, they come in orange, purple, and red. Since this sunset already has some orange in it, I'm going to try the orange presets and see what works best. There's a light, medium, strong, and dramatic. I think I'm going to go with the dramatic. It adds some contrast in the sky to the clouds. Now I want to add a second graduated filter here to uh, add a little bit of blue to the sky as well. Um, these graduated filter presets will just work with one filter at a time. So if you want to add a second one, what you need to do is come over here, click on the graduated filter tool. Actually, I'm going to select this um, sunset and move the center pin just to the horizon. I want to click on new to add a second one. And I'm going to click and drag down. I'll go ahead and place this one on the horizon as well. Get it lined up. Now I'm going to go over here 
and change the preset. By default, it's using the same preset that I used on the other graduated filter. So right now I have two of the orange sunset presets being applied. So I'm going to change the second one to blue sky light. And that will um, add a little bit of blue to the sky and give me the look that I want. So that concludes my work with this photo with the landscape legend lightroom presets. I was able to do it in just a couple minutes and with only a few clicks. Thank you for watching.